All right, guys, well, I'm back today finally with a full overview and review of the Guard Dog Armor Bulletproof Backpack Options as well as Bulletproof Backpack Panels available on their website. I've been featuring these a lot, but it's about time I did a full in-depth review of this entire system, especially because they have a few new options, including a brand new discrete backpack. Originally, they were offering it in just the tactical backpack, and they've actually dropped the price on this, and it's on sale. I also have a code 704TACTICAL for 10% off of anything on their website, so if you decide you like this or you want to look at some other armor solutions, remember to use that code. It does save you some money. I also want to give a huge shout out to Guard Dog Armor for sending this stuff out to the channel to try out, as well as a bulletproof panel to shoot down at the range to really prove it out and see what it can stop. I'm really excited about this because they're also offering this panel independently. And the greatest thing about all this is you don't have to break the bank. With everything going on in society, in the world, it seems like having a passive defensive option is really key right now. And honestly, one of the first armor solutions I would buy if I had nothing is a bulletproof backpack. When you think about a bulletproof backpack, it can double as a number of things, especially one like this guard dog armor. It's a really large plate that they use in both the stealth and the tactical version of the backpack. It's actually the same plate, and it measures out 11 inches by 15 inches, so really large coverage, but it only weighs a half a pound. I mean, when you think about adding a half a pound to your EDC... That's almost nothing. These panels also double as armor panels that you can put pretty much anywhere, especially in the back seat of your car. You can also sling this pack around the back seat of your car or stash it in the back seat of your car. So if somebody comes up from behind, you have a level 3A bulletproof panel from behind. Now a level 3A stops up to a 44 mag handgun, and a lot of times the threats you encounter in public are a lot of small caliber handguns. I doubt anybody's carrying a 44, but this will stop up to a 44, but this is not rifle rated. So if you guys are new into armor, level 3A is handgun threats only. Um, now, occasionally some rifles are chambered in handgun calibers. This will stop those as well, again, up to a 44 mag. Now, the two options we're looking at today are the stealth backpack, which we'll take a look at first, then the tactical backpack. The stealth backpack is incredibly sleek and streamlined. When you're looking at this, it doesn't scream tactical. This is definitely a gray man option, no pun intended by the color of the backpack. But you could easily carry this to school if you're a teacher or a student. You can take this on public transportation and you can take this in a wide variety of places, especially at work, and nobody would be the wiser that you are carrying level three, a bulletproof armor. The armor also seamlessly integrates into both of these backpacks. A lot of time people will buy the panel and incorporate it in their own backpack. You can definitely do that with the panel available online. But this is going to be great because these backpacks definitely incorporate them well. Now, to give you a price rundown, the Stealth Backpack, with the plate included, runs $149. The Tactical Backpack is actually on sale right now, generally selling for $170. It's on sale for $140 or $139. And then you can buy the backpack panel itself for right at $99. So those are your price breakdowns. Then when you stack the code 704 tactical for 10% off this, you can drop this down to $90 and then even cheaper for both of these. And the stealth pack, pack comes at right at about $135. And then when you're looking at the tactical backpack, a little bit cheaper than that, right around $126, I believe. So really solid value for money when you're talking about backpacks themselves. Now, this one has a very nice side pocket that you can access things like your phone, iPods, things like that. It also has two small side pockets on the side for, again, your phone if you wanted to plug something in, power banks, and it actually holds a small water bottle. This is not going to hold like a large Nalgene bottle or something like that, but it will hold a small, small water bottle. It also has a really cool hub on the side, and I'll show you. This is a USB hub, so what you can do is put a power bank inside here connect it to the USB cable, and then you can charge your electronics from the power hub on the side, and you can see how nice it is in the inside as well. It also is a padded compartment for your laptop, and then you can strap your laptop in. And again, you can see how the armor is actually right here, and it integrates seamlessly into the backpack. So even when you open it up, nobody can tell you have armor in here. Honestly, this is a very discreet option. It also has a lot of nice compartments, and overall, it's just a very good feeling backpack. 
The straps themselves are padded. It's incredibly comfortable, good adjustments. All in all, you're gonna get a solid backpack with that Bulletproof Armor Level 3A rating, especially when you stack my code, this becomes incredibly affordable. The tac -tac, uh, the tac -tac, the Tactical Backpack definitely screams tactical, but I love it. Like if you're talking about a bug out bag or a car bag or just an EDC bag and you don't care if people look at you and notice the camo and the molly attachments, this is a great option, especially for like a 72 hour pack or a bug out bag because it has the armor solution built in. Imagine in a personal defense situation, you can actually sling both of these around and use them as a front plate carrier to defend your life with, especially if you uh, attach a ton of whatever you need to survive in like a bug out or a 72 hour situation. This also doubles, doubles now as a plate carrier when you consider the plate is located again, seamlessly integrated into the back. So that's pretty much these backpacks in a nutshell, but what we're gonna do is actually test out this plate down at the range because this is awesome, it's affordable, but we're gonna shoot it a ton and see what it does, and then we may even cut it open to see, you know, how it held its form and things like that after that. We'll just see what goes through, what doesn't go through. I'm gonna hit it pretty hard. This should be good. Let's head down to the range, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Now we're down here to test the plates ballistically, shoot them with a couple of different calibers, and really push them to the limits. Again, look how large they are compared to other plates. And again, they're super affordable and really lightweight at 0.5 pounds. It also is incredibly flexible, yet semi-rigid, so we'll see how it does and if it keeps its form and take a look at the back face deformation. We're gonna be doing all this shooting at about 10 yards. First up, nine millimeter full metal jacket out of the Glock 19. I've got it clipped to some plywood. Now there is a ton of damage behind the plywood holes and such, but behind that is actually some ballistics gel to simulate kind of wearing on a person. Let's see how this does. So here is our hit right here, kind of on the side. I'm gonna to try to disperse these out. And you can see it's got a small amount of back face deformation, but the overall plate held its form really well. It didn't bunch up and crunch up on itself. Let's hit it some more. Next up, 357 Magnum out of this Colt Lawman. This one is gonna hit hard. Let's see what it does. Somebody needs to check my eyesight today because I hit high. I was aiming right below this clip and I hit up here, but let's see if it stopped it. Let's yank it off of this clip. And it did, it stopped it. So it split the back seam, but you can see there's no actual hole in the plate itself. And let's see, you can actually feel the bullet is trapped inside there and really warm. Let's keep shooting it. Let's do one more shot of 357, and I always get people in the comment section saying I'm not shooting what I'm saying I'm shooting. I'm going to try to focus in on you guys. This is a 357 round right here. Let's load it up. Take the shot. So here's our hit right here. Probably one of the closest to center we've gotten, and it absolutely stopped it. This one didn't even split the back. So that did really well. Now there is some back face deformation. That would definitely hurt, but a 357 Magnum at 10 yards, this is holding up well. And you can see the plate is actually still square. A lot of times with Kevlar, you'll shoot it one time against a, a flexible backstop like this, and it will cave in on itself and pull in tight. This one's holding its form incredibly well. Now I wanna see its multi-strike capability. So I'm gonna hit it a bunch with this nine millimeter and we'll see what it does. Let's go look. So guys, we hit it everywhere, sometimes right beside each other. And this one actually hit right at the bottom of the plate. Let's unclip it and take a look. And nothing made it through. Try to show you guys everything. Again, this is that first 357 Magnum hit. No actual hole right there. And the backs did not split. Oh, I can actually feel bullets in the bottom of here. Wow, that did really good. I'm really surprised. And one more test. I always like to try point blank test on body armor that's done really well. Again, this has held its form. Definitely don't try this at home. Uh, here we go, point blank.
100% stopped it. That's awesome. We are back from the range and this did surprisingly well. Again, when we're looking at this, nothing made it through. This was where it hit at the top, but now I'm gonna pull it open a little bit and show you guys that absolutely nothing made it through. So you can see all of those hits, it kept its form very nicely, even multi hits right beside each other. Nothing made it through. I think we should cut this open and take a look. So right off the bat, you can see these two rounds were just kind of floating around inside there, and I think everything else is trapped. I believe these were the ones that hit right at the bottom or the top and then kind of slid out of the Kevlar, but you can see how it flattens those out. How cool is that? Let's start peeling back the sheets. And right away, guys, even after only the first sheet, we're finding a lot of rounds. Now that really says something when you think about it that it didn't even make it past a ton of those sheets allowing it to stop again you know we shot it with a nine millimeter and 357 magnum but look at all those that it stopped there's the jacket of one how cool is that Let's flip this back again. And there's there's three more, so it is not penetrating deep at all. That's actually really cool. A lot of times I don't cut open armor, but I feel like it explains the armor really well when I do. All right, here's another round right here. And then at this point, nothing. Nothing, well, let's check the bottom. Yeah, nothing has made it past four sheets. Look how much you have left. I mean, you could keep on shooting those. Look how many sheets are left and look how many it went through. Yep, I'm counting four. That is insanely impressive. Uh, I'm actually really, really blown away by this. And especially at the fact that how affordable this is. About $90 for the play after my code, 135 for the stealth backpack and about 126 for the tactical backpack. Uh, after the code 704 Tactical, guys, definitely take advantage of this deal. Uh, this is awesome. I think these would also make like great gifts and presents, especially for like a student going away to college or somebody walking. Uh, you know, if you're the way things are going in the world, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all to have a passive defensive option that can stop all of these rounds and save your life at an affordable price. So I hope you guys like the video. I hope it shows you what this can actually do. And I hope this gives you a preparedness and a safety item that you can truly use to defend your life with on a limited budget. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.